Sports Webinar 2024 from Procurement Tactics. Welcome to all our listeners from all over the world. In this first webinar of 2024, we are going to dive in into AI and ChatGPT fundamentals in procurement. Welcome again, happy that you're here and let's start. What is the agenda for today? Of course, we'll dive in AI and ChatGPT fundamentals in procurement. We'll start with the introduction on AI. We'll dive into ChatGPT prompts, AI in the procurement process and how it can help you, mistakes to avoid, challenges to overcome, and we are going to look forward on future trends. And of course, to start with this, is AI hot? And of course, the answer is yes. And let us illustrate that with two examples. Here is our friend, Mr. Biden. I don't know if it's a friend to everyone in the world, but we thought it was fun to put him here as a picture. He ordered a few weeks ago the first executive order on AI. The Biden administration has issued that order to make sure that the order aims to promote responsible AI development and use, but it also aims to mitigate the potential harms of AI, especially for marginalized communities. Of course, it is very important to, that this order is issued, but to be honest with you guys, it is not a law yet. It is only working towards, let's say, goals or it's an ambition. What is not an ambition, but what is actual quite factual, is the Harvard Business School study on AI, which was uh, launched just after summer. The results were quite staggering. AI, especially ChatGPT4, boosts consultants' performance across all skills. So actually, what uh, Harvard did here is that they, uh, they did an interesting study together with Boston Consulting Group. What they did here is that they divided a group of consultants in two groups. Group one was responsible to work on, let's say, a new sneaker line with the help of AI and ChatGPT, and the other group was responsible in finalizing exactly the same task without AI and ChatGPT. The results were really interesting. The results revealed that consultants using AI outperformed those without AI assistance across all skill levels. Tasks involving creativity, analytical thinking, writing and persuasion showed consistent improvement in response quality, efficiency and productivity for the AI assisted group. Even basic AI education on prompt engineering further boosted performance. The findings suggest that integrating AI into knowledge work can enhance productivity, quality and innovation, making it crucial for organizations to consider AI adoption as it becomes more accessible. So what learn does this from a personal perspective working within procurement? Using AI and ChatGPT can help us to finalize more tasks, to finalize tasks faster, but also to come up with higher quality of work. And later in this webinar, we are going to help you with some examples on how you could put these learnings or put these learnings into practice within your own work. With Procurement Tactics, we have a, let's say, newsletter fan base of over 20,000 people. And what we ask them is, how do you use AI and ChatGPT within your work of procurement? And the answers were quite interesting. Teams from all over the world, how do you use ChatGPT in your work as procurement professional? And the answers were quite clear. As a communication assistant, for doing research, for documentation, problem solving and strategy forming, operational support, educational support, technical assistance, creativity and design, and customer and user support. Let's just take a few out. So for example, documentation. Procurement professionals use ChatGPT because it assists in writing documents, requirements and communications, but it can also help analyze RFPs and develop proposal outlines. For example, when we talk about problem solving and strategy, it facilitates brainstorming for business ideas, 
procurement strategies or product features. It also explores, defines and set up procurement strategies and tactics. And one other important one for research. ChatGPT surveys the market and retrieves information on vendors or competitors. It also identifies new suppliers for RFPs and RFIs and gathers details about items, services or procurement tools. So let me start with what is a good prompt, because if you want to use ChatGPT and AI in your own work as a procurement professional, you have to know how to use it. So if we go to the next slide, what is a good prompt? First, let me start with this one. Take some time to read it. I'm not going to read it out for you, but let me pause here for 10 seconds. This prompt is good because it tells ChatGPT exactly what to do. Make a detailed analysis of potential suppliers for an upcoming project in the procurement tech sector. It asks for specific things like strengths, weaknesses, trends and negotiation ideas. And in this way, the response will be focused and helpful. Also, it reminds ChatGPT to think about compliance with rules and standards making sure the information is not just informative, but also strategic and in line with what's needed for you as a procurement professional. It's like giving ChatGPT a clear map to follow, making it more likely to provide useful and targeted information. This aligns actually with how we train procurement teams from all over the world with how to use ChatGPT. Very important is the fact to start always with providing as much information as possible in the start. And then, of course, what you see here is, okay, this is, this is where you give input to ChatGPT on what would you like. So always make sure to give as much information as possible beforehand, before asking ChatGPT on what do you expect to get back from it. Let me continue with how can AI help the ideal procurement process? In my eyes, there is a seven step ideal procurement process, which starts with having the right sourcing strategy, follow up by market research. Step three is RFI. Step four is request for quotation. Step five is the negotiation phase. Step six is contracting phase. And step seven is supplier relationship management. And after step seven, you start over again with the sourcing strategy. I would like to help you in behalf of the team of procurement tactics on how can AI help in all the seven steps. And let me give you an example per step of a good prompt. Sourcing strategy. So first, a prompt example here is describe your business and your overall procurement goals for 2024. Then give me the steps to simplify and enhance my supplier strategy, ensuring quicker decision making without compromising quality. If you put your prompt into ChatGPT like this, try it and you will see great outputs. Market research. Again, first describe the company you work for, your job title, and give some internal data anonymously, I will come back to that later, and the products or services that you want to buy. Give me 10 suppliers I should consider. Number three, request for information. Create an RFI for my category X with a deadline X. RFI criteria are 40% quality, 40% price, and for example, 20% innovation. Propose an RFI that I can send out to my suppliers and propose an email to do so. If you do this, it will actually help you to create your RFI to send out to your suppliers and you do not even have to think about the email that you want to make alongside with it as well. Step number four, request for quotation. Prompt example here. Again, describe the company you work for, your job title, add internal data and the products or services you want to buy. Again, enormously benchmark these suppliers' proposals on the earlier given RFI criteria. Negotiation phase, prompt example, and I'm not going to uh, talk about this because I, I'll get back to you later in this webinar. Prompt example, 
Describe your negotiation setting and variables. Include your goals and describe the company you're negotiating with. Which tactics could I use to achieve my goal? Put this in ChatGPT and you will find staggering answers as well. Contracting phase. Propose a contract based on, between brackets, country law, including variable X, Y and Z, contract period of 10 years and payment terms of XX and YY. So put in your main variables there. Of course, by bringing in the information into ChatGPT, it will help you to come up with a standard contract that you could use. Of course, you cannot copy one-on-one -on -one everything that it will be saying to you or will be suggesting, but it again really helps to, let's say, create a contract quite fast here. And then supplier relationship management, step number seven. Prompt example. Describe the sales manager you're working with and what he likes and does not like. Describe the soft skills I should use or could use to cope with this person. Actually, from a company perspective, since I am the founder of Procurement Tactics, we are in the sales side of procurement now as well. I really like to use this one. So when I negotiate with potential new clients, I tend to describe the person that I'm negotiating with and then I ask ChatGPT what are possible, I would say, negotiation strategies that I can expect from this person and then I counter them beforehand to know which kind of, let's say, negotiation strategies I can apply to achieve, in this way, my sales target. Then let us dive into what are some mistakes to avoid when using ChatGPT. Of course, the first one is entering sensitive data without anonymizing it. This is very important. You do not want to put in all your company information in the system because you do not want your competitors and the algorithm to learn from your company data. The second one is not using persona. So this is actually thinking of, okay, what do I put in before I ask ChatGPT to give me output? So this is one of my earlier tips as well. The more you describe beforehand, before really putting ChatGPT to work, that really helps. Number three is stop thinking yourself. Of course, I also discussed this earlier, but never stop to think yourself. So use ChatGPT as an inspiration rather than the truth. Then of course, not giving enough context, not iterating your prompt. And what I mean with that is, if you start using ChatGPT and AI, you will encounter quite some challenges in how to use it. Of course, it's user-friendly and quite easy to learn, but sometimes you have to adjust the way that you put in your prompt. And of course, mixing topics in one chat, make sure that when using ChatGPT, you focus on one topic. Challenges and how to tackle them are mostly aligned with what we already discussed, but it's important to stay up to date. Uh, there are many add-ons when it comes to ChatGPT and AI launched over the last couple of weeks. Make sure to visit our website if you want to learn more about which tooling is actual available at the moment. Proper prompting, which is also a very important one. And of course, context understanding, biases, data privacy, and putting in too long prompts. Of course, dealing with prompts that are too long presents a challenge. A practical solution is to use procurement tactics prompt splitter with automatically divides lengthy prompt. You can access the splitter at procurementtactics.com slash chatgpt. If we look forward, there are a few things important. It's important to stay up to date. In the fast evolving world of AI, staying current with ChatGPT latest features and updates is crucial to maximize its potential for you as procurement professional. Regularly check for updates and join trainings or courses to understand what's possible. There will be many integration with other tools. ChatGPT's true power in procurement shines when it's seamlessly integrated with other tools and systems, creating a cohesive and efficient workflow. And, of course, also very important, a ChatGPT procurement policy is important. Establishing clear guidelines on how to interact with and utilize ChatGPT ensures consistent and ethical use across the procurement team. A well-defined ChatGPT procurement policy helps in managing user expectations, safeguarding sensitive information, 
and maintaining the integrity of procurement processes. The team of Procurement Tactics created a free policy that you can download. Let me come back to that later. We created a ChatGPT and AI in procurement course that if you want to learn all the details on how to extract the most out of ChatGPT from a personal perspective, but also from a procurement perspective, make sure to enroll. You will get an official certificate upon completion. The course is fully online and self-paced. It includes powerful ChatGPT tooling and prompting templates. We have already also access to you for reading materials and bonus content. The study material is around 32 to 40 hours. You get a 60 day money back guarantee if you don't like it and you will get 12 month access to the course. If you want to learn more, email me at marijn at procurementtactics.com and I will send you four files. A file on ChatGPT usage in procurement and this will help you with the policy. ChatGPT prompts to get better negotiation results. ChatGPT prompts to get more productive in procurement. And in the end, 75 ChatGPT prompts to become more productive in procurement. If you're interested in that, just drop me an email and I will send it to you with love. And then, yeah, of course, are you interested in upskilling your procurement team? Choose procurement tactics. Our services as as follows. We have online courses on 10 different subjects. We upskill teams from all over the world on negotiations, on of course ChatGPT and AI, on strategy, on soft skills, on sustainable procurement. Make sure to go to our website to download all the syllabi to make sure that you are able to upskill yourself or your team. We offer workshops and we are launching our community early 2024, so keep an eye out for that one. And we have many resources for free, but also some paid on our website. If you have any questions, because now we are at the end of our webinar, please let us know in the comment section here on LinkedIn, and we will be answering them right now. Thank you for your attention. It was a pleasure, and I'm looking forward to see you back in our webinar of next week. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day, morning or evening, depending on from which country you are following this webinar. And it was an honor having you. And let's continue our chat in the LinkedIn post and we'll speak to you there. Bye bye. And thank you very much for your attention.